How's it going ladies and persons, I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Dragon's Quest Eleven. I don't remember what we're doing, it's been so long. We're in Phenomenon, so I guess we're leaving. We've got to defeat a Broly Gagger in the Champ Savage, south of the Champ Savage, I believe, for a side mission. Other than that, I have literally no idea what we're doing. We got that new key so that we can open up those secret doors. That's the main thing we're doing at the moment. Because there's a bunch of those around everywhere we've already been, and then some. So we're gonna go smash those doors open. Gotta make sure we're strong enough. I'm pretty sure we're epically strong at this point, but... Gotta make sure we're strong enough. God damn! I forgot how epic Jade was. Yeah, it's been a while since we since we played or recorded this. There's been so much going on at the moment. So, so much. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Won't take long for us to get back into it. We gotta get back to that school too. There's like two or three side missions still to do at the school we haven't finished. A couple of things we need to do first before we, we can go again. back there. But we will go back there some stage. We're gonna make that whip for it. And such. So much to be done. That probably gig is meant to be south of here but it has to be in the rain or something so... Oh no no! I don't know. This is not raining. I mean, where is it even pointing us at the moment? Let's have a look. Basically, it looks like we're meant to be heading around here somewhere. But we've been everywhere, I believe. The eerie eye and everything we've done. Pretty sure we've done. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I know we were cleaning up side missions in the last episode. Well, unfortunately that was, uh, like two weeks ago. <laughs> we'll see what we can find. I'm sure there's lots of these doors open. I'm looking forward to seeing what's in there, because we found some pretty cool shit. Lots of treasures. I need mini medals. Pretty close to getting our next mini medal bonus, I think. I think we got two? Two to go? Something like that, anyway. Or we could jump in our boat and head away, see what we can find from there. Do you like taking our boat places? We might just take the boat, I think. Let's just head on out, see what we can find. Hey Dave, let's go. We're gonna stop at whatever port we can find. That's my kind of exploring. Apparently we got a pink dealie here. Alright, let's go. So what's this island? Is that the strand? No it is not. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Jeez, I feel like I'm messing everything up all the time. Okay, now that I'm done messing everything up, let's go find something to do. Maybe get some side missions done, yeah. fight some monsters, get super epic. Our team is like the best. Our team is all girls except for us, you may have noticed. 
One of them's a tiny girl, but still, they're all girls. They are the best characters, though, let's be honest. Well, that was easy. Gotta miss Eric, though. Eric was pretty badass. We just gotta find somewhere to stop. Bust the chops of all the monsters there, take all the treasure and move on. Like pirates. We're pirates now. Go down, Spinchilla. Nice. God damn it, man. Monica wins again. So scary, Jade. Stop it. Calm yourself. It's raining. We've got an island over here. I guess we'll go check that out. Is there any way I can just like look at the map and see where it is? I wish there was a way I could do that. I don't want to zoom, I just want to see where everything is. You know what, screw it. Instead of knowing where everything is, we just like, turn up. Just turn up, see what happens. Creepy crabs, stop in my face like that, you weirdo. Super scary. Alright Jade, wreck him. Whoa, I didn't mean to wreck him that hard. Poor bastard. That was just mean. That was an overkill. And I feel bad for everybody that Jade attacks. Everybody that has that's been attacked by Jade has my condolences. No, I'm alright. I'm gonna pass on that right now, thanks very much. Oh, we'll check it out later. Let's disembark, check the place out, see if we can find some treasure, and move on. What do we got? We have a, a white door. We can't open the white doors, we can only open the red doors as far as I'm aware. But I do want to check it out anyway. I don't want to leave on the off chance that I can just open it. That would be a mistake. Let's just haul ass into there. I remember this place with the giants and such. Keep moving. Let's go head right over here super quickly. These guys are intimidating, man. I don't think this is gonna work, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Yep, that's pretty much what I thought. Let's go. Down my way, don't make me kick your ass. Don't care how big you are, I'll still kick your ass. Ain't nothing to me, fool. I guess this is the time we mean to grind up a bunch of levels. Oh shit. He just teleported into front of me. See, we got open wildiness now. Grinding levels is an inevitability. Even by accident. God damn! Yes, I feel bad for you, troll, but yes, I'm still gonna kill you. Fail. Waste Here we go. Paralyzed with fear. You should be. Veronica's like, Jade's about to tear parts out of you. Tear you up into stakes by the campfire. A lot of health, I'll give him that. Take him out. 
Pathetic. No, thank you. Oh, nice. Lots of drops. Two medicinal herbs. Probably a little bit weak to be actually usable these days, but... Better than getting nothing. There's our boat. Silvando's boat, really, but... Yeah, no, we're borrowing it. He needs us for our extra ass-kicking powers. Alright, where are we? I'm gonna head northish. There's nowhere else to stop over here. Let's keep moving out this way. And murdering everything in our path. Sorry it's taking a little while to get into the episode, not much has happened yet. And by not much I mean literally nothing, although a bunch of level ups. Level ups are always nice, right? They feel like progress, even if nothing else is happening. <laughs> and it really isn't. But we're obviously overpowered for most of the enemies here. Blocking there, Serena, well done. Damn! It's physical attacked him to death. You're a mage, goddammit! Oh, you're silenced! How are you so good at fighting while being silenced? You weirdo. Not that I'm telling you to stop or anything, it's just weird. This is the strand, right? I'm gonna pass. Now we could go... Uh, we could go into this... Central piece, but... I think we'll come back to that another time. Let's work our way around the islands. We'll come back to that central bit later. I imagine there's stuff we can do everywhere. Here we go. You wanna die, big boy? Actually, he looks pretty docile, but I'm still gonna kill him. There is a door here we can open. One of the red doors. So let's do it. All we have to do is murder our way through all the enemies. And then open it. Sounds like a good time to me. That's what we excel at. Mid heal might be overkill. Calm down. Wasn't that hurt? Hit him hard, Veronica. Nice. Don't even waste any MP. All right, big boy, it's just you. It's you and us. Damn, Serena, you really pull out all the stops when you need to. Some from ever even been able to hit us. I feel bad for him. You're so brutal, Serena, considering you're like a pacifist out here. Finish him, Veronica. No? Nice try, dude. Well, he tried. Credit where credit's due. Lots of XP, too. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Lots of XP. Oh, it's this place. That door. He actually just ignored us. I probably am the bad guy for attacking that last one. I feel like an asshole. Falcon Blade. Hey, guy. I'll come deal with you in a second. Strike twice in quick succession. We lose two attack points, but we'll get to hit twice, so it's obviously infinitely better, right? The auto equip would change it back, but I think the auto equip is wrong, personally. Let's test it on this guy, actually. Uh, I want to make sure I know this might work. But I'm going to check it anyway. What key do we need for that stuff? Let's kill this guy. Try out the Falcon Blade. 
Two points less damage for the ability to hit twice. It sounds badass to me. It sounds like it more than makes up for its uh, loss of two points of damage. Okay, it's still weaker overall, but I guess it doubles your chances of getting a crit. God damn! She hits twice as well, so... Maybe the cautery sword is better, actually. Oh man. It's only marginally better. But it is better, still. Oh well. I just really wanted to find something that was an improvement, you know? You live and you learn. You do what you gotta do. Never mind. Let's head back to the uh, the big blue sea and see what else we can find up in here. We found something. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's not exactly what we wanted or needed. So we got to stop over here. And there's a a sea thing there, but that takes us to a place we've already been. So there's no point using that one right now. Looks like it's the one that goes to Hotto. Is it Hotto? I actually remember. We don't need it anyway. Let's just keep moving. That damage! Poor Serena. You threw a rock at me, you son of a bitch! Now you die. So you get for throwing rocks at people, you twat. We'll soon have that patched up. Serena, you are just so dependable, I tell you. You and Jade are my favourite, not just because you're the hottest. But because Jade is the killiest and you're the healiest. Let us disembark. Funny this, there ain't nothing here. We're going back to the big boat, big ba 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 boat. So I just want to uh, arc right on you. All right, we're gonna head west into that little like alcovey do. See if we can find something up in there. If nothing else, all this grinding is making us considerably stronger. All the murdering of everything that appears in front of us. And there is much murdering of these things. And they're not really any match for us at this point. We're just too strong. <coughs> Though the bosses that we come across always give us a run for our money. Every time. Every single time. Nice. You'd think you'd be able to handle the ice considering he lives on it. But no. Brutal. Well, MP's getting a little bit low. We could do other places to rest up. You know? Let's try... Before we rest there, it's over here. The Viking hideout. Sure. Sounds cool to me. Sniffleheim. Ah, <laughs> cool. Hey. Welcome, world forker. Welcome, traveller. You're either brave or stupid to sail into our hideouts so brazenly. We are the Vikings, dreaded scourge of the northern seas. What business do you have with us? Us? If it is Sniffleheim you seek, you're in the wrong place. Raise your anchor and sail around the cape to the east. No, I'm good. I'm just gonna push in forward. Me and the boys just drink here to celebrate the haul we got on the last raid. I guess I hit the fire water a bit too hard. I'm gonna go and sleep it off. Sweet dreams, stranger. Good idea. You drunk? You pisshead. Standing there, money. 
Something, World Walker. You well met. You got a lot of guts sailing all the way across the stormy northern seas. No younglings could do with taking a leaf out of your book. Viking life ain't easy. Some of them find it so hard they turn tail and run. Pansies. All oh, the treasure in this room belongs to us Vikings. Well, it does now, anyway. Sure, it might not be mine, but seeing all this gold and silver still gives me the giggles. Just look how shiny it is. <laughs> Do you have any orbs up in here? I can definitely do with an orb up in here. Hello. I'm the chief personal bodyguard. Chief's personal bodyguard at first. I just did it for the gold, but now I'm a fully fledged member of the gang. I'd ask how you fit in here, but it's pretty plain that you don't. If there's somewhere you gotta be, I'd recommend you get going. Come on, me kick your ass, lady. I'm real good at kicking asses. Kicking ass! You go, you're a long way from home, World Walker. I'm the chief of the Vikings. This is my hideout. What do you think you're doing here? If you ain't here to cause trouble, you can stick around. So long as I've got the wind in my sails, gold in my hold, and a flagon full of meat, I'm happy. The world might be going to rack and ruin around us, but that doesn't mean nothing to me. <laughs> cool. As long as you're happy, my man. I'm just gonna go explore. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Ooh, a well. Always good stuff to find in here. In wells. Go. Nothing. Damn it. Oh, a bed. Yeah. Yeah, I'll rest. Hell yes. Try and stop me. I'm naked. Like always. I'm pooped. Poked even. What's in here? Oh, hello. A Brighton Rock. Okay, I've never seen that item before. I wonder what that does. I bet it's super rare and awesome. Let's go. Something tells me I should have gone to the other island first, but whatever. Where are we? Alright, let's check over here before we start moving further in. It's one of those dealies again. Little ghosties. Another Brighton Rock. Maybe it's not super rare. We just found two next to each other, near each other. That pretty much alleviates its rareness. Damn. Really? Shit. I didn't think I was gonna get stopped that easily. Maybe I can talk to someone up in here. Get the door open. Yo! Alright, whatever. Yo, I haven't talked to you. I hope he's alright. No, I'm sure he is. He's a Viking. He'd not offer himself to the crow so easily, would he? Oh. Oh. You butt munch. Alright, well, we're gonna have to leave. We'll have to come back. At this stage, not helpful. There is a town nearby, so I'm assuming that's where our next stop is. And we should head back after that. Whatever he's doing around here, I'm the one who's got to do it. I fix up the ship, shift their cargo, they even make me pour their drinks. It's all because I'm the new guy. Ever since I joined, these Vikings have been working me to the bone. Maybe you shouldn't have joined. You can't make me feel sorry for you. You join a gang of criminals, and then you have to work. And you get treated badly by them. Criminals, you twat. Of course you've been treated badly by them. Right, let's check this place out. That's Sniffleheim, then. Okay. Used to be belonging to the Vikings then, presumably, and now it belongs to somebody else? Rainbow glows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Yes! You've sailed all the way across the ocean to vision visit Sniffleheim. Have you? I'm sorry, but your journey's been wasted, I'm afraid. What do you mean? Heh. <laughs> Can't see for yourself. Okay. Finally making are. progress. The Crystal Kingdom of Sniffleheim, home to the famous Blue Orb. 
Ah, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. Hmm. That must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. <laughs> What's this? Ice? What the? The gates are covered in ice. Look, they're frozen shut. Is that what the bright rocks are for? How strange. Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Hmm. Ah, you have a point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that easy, is it? Is that simple? Is that a simple uh, plan? Oh, we got the... We got the key for that door. It is a simple plan. Okay. I guess we'll check if there's any crafting to be done here. We still got crafting we need to do. Let's see what we can make. Maximum focus, nice. Uh, can, we, can we make this whip yet? Really want to make that whip. The Queen's whip, isn't it? We can make the Jolly Brolly. That's pretty cool. I've never made it, but we could. That's pretty much all we can make, so I guess we'll make it. Yeah, let's make a Jolly Broly, yeah? Alright, oh, simple, simple. Uh, we want the double-edged bash. And again. And then we'll go the double whammy. And again. And again. And then lightning bash on this one. Done. Perfect. It's a plus three, I know it is. Ah, damn it, it's only plus two, really? I'm sure that would be plus three. What else we got? You can make the coral hairpin. What else? Okay, we'll make the coral hairpin, I guess. I guess this will be the end of the episode. We'll sit here, craft, have a sleep in the episode, and then we'll be ready to head on into the new town in the next one. Done like a do. Not bad, not bad. There we go, that'll be perfect, right? Three out of four, perfect. It's gotta be perfect. Gotta be. Yes. Even though its stats are quite low compared to what we're already using, it might be worth it at plus three. That gives it a massive boost to its stats. Uh, we'll have a look at some accessories. What else can we make? Nope, that's this. Um, we'll just see what equipment we can use. Yeah, the coral hairpin is an improvement, apparently, on what she's wearing. 
Slight improvement on defense. Big improvement on charm. For some reason. Gotta make sure everyone's as ready to go as they're ever gonna be. You know what I mean? Even the people that are in our backup. Okay, we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Have a sleep. And in the next one, we'll head into town. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.